One question I get asked a lot is, how do I compile a plugin on Linux or Mac? Most of my videos are on Windows, and I use Visual Studio, but all the Mac and Linux people, uh, that doesn't really apply to you. So in this video, we'll learn how to compile plugins in a unified way across all three platforms using a toolset called CMake. So what's the problem we're trying to solve? The problem we're trying to solve is we don't know what uh, development environment each developer is on. There could be Windows, Linux, or Mac, and also there are many different versions of Maya. It could be on 13, 14, or 15, or who knows what version. So with all those different development environments and all those versions of Maya, we don't want to have to maintain multiple Visual Studio projects, make files, or Xcode projects for each uh, individual combination. For example, Maya 2014 on Windows needs Visual Studio uh, 2012, I believe, or it could be 2011, one of those. And if we want to support Linux and Mac, we don't want to have to uh, maintain a bunch of different make files for all of those environments. So ideally, we could just maintain a single set of build scripts that would work across all the different platforms and all the different versions of Maya. And that is where CMake comes in. CMake is the cross-platform open source build system. What CMake allows us to do is allows us to maintain a single set of build scripts, which can then be used to generate uh, the build environment on our desired platform. For example, if I'm on Windows and I want to use Visual Studio 2012 with Maya 2015, I can use some syntax like this in the command prompt. Or if I'm on Linux or Mac and I want to compile for 2014, I can say uh, CMake-G Unix makes files. And that specifies I'm just going to make a normal uh, make file for Unix-based systems. This dash G, as we'll learn later, stands for generator. It's used to tell CMake what development environment we want to generate. And this Maya version variable uh, tells the system what version of Maya we want to compile with. And we'll learn how to support these kinds of arguments uh, later on in this video. And then to actually compile our plugin, uh, instead of having a different command on Linux and Mac and a different command on Windows. CMake allows us to run our build in a uniform manner just by calling the dash dash build and specifying which configuration we want to build. And we'll learn how all this works a bit later on. So CMake works by processing a bunch of text files called CMake lists. The CMake list file is used to specify where our libraries and headers are on our local system and how to properly compile and link our project. Uh, this is an example of a simple CMake list. Uh, we'll go over this step by step when we generate it. But, so in this video, we're going to learn how to implement these two methods right here. The find package, Maya, that's required for this uh, plugin we're going to write, and this Maya plugin function uh, which we'll learn what that does a bit later on. So these three lines, you can see there's some some variables called Maya include directory, Maya library directory, and the Maya libraries. These will all these will all get exposed when we write our uh, find Maya uh, CMake module. So in order to support compiling Maya plugins with CMake, we need to write what's called a CMake module. And a CMake module is a file that tells CMake where all the associated files and directories are in the local system, such as the headers and libraries that we use to compile our code. So CMake ships with a bunch of pre-built modules. A few of them are listed here, such as CUDA, MATLAB, OpenGL, Python libraries. CMake ships with a few dozen of these, so you can pretty much browse in your CMake install directory, uh, which is located usually around this location, wherever you install CMake, there's a share, uh, maybe another directory, and then a modules subdirectory. So here's an example of that modules directory. You can see there's all these find whatever.cmake. These are all different modules. Unfortunately, there is no find maya.cmake that comes with CMake automatically. But that's okay because in this video, we'll learn how to write our own. So let's jump over and learn how to write that. 